So we're back to where we started. And we're going to do this one more time here because I may want to route things separately. I may want to route each and every channel to its own channel within my DAW. Now, in other sampler plugins, a lot of times you don't have this many stereo channels to work with. Superior Drummer allows for 16 stereo channels, whereas other samplers may only allow up to eight or, you know, you may have to do a configuration of mono and stereo. And each plugin is going to have different output functionality. But again, Superior Drummer is great because it allows for up to 16 stereo outputs. Now, if we count all of the actual channels within Superior Drummer, and this is within the Avatar library, there are 18 actual channels, mic channels that are used. We have 16 stereo channels, so we are going to have to do a bus somewhere. But for the most part, we can use almost every single channel as is. So here's what we'll do. Our kick in set to one and two. We'll set kick out to output three and four. I want my sub to be different. We'll set that to five and six, snare top, seven and eight, snare bottom, nine and 10. Now this compressed snare drum that we already have, I'm going to set that to the same channel as my snare top. You wouldn't have to do this. You could do a bus elsewhere. However, for this example, I'm just gonna set the snare drum compressed channel to the same channel as my snare top, which is seven and eight. Hi-hat will be an individual channel. We'll go to 11 and 12, because we've already used nine and 10 on the snare bottom. I want all of my toms to be set to individual channels. That way I can EQ them separately. I have the leverage to do that, so I might as well take advantage. Overhead will go to an individual channel. Ambient close. Mid, far. And then at this point, I have one more channel left. I'm most likely not going to use the ambient mono. I just know that from my own workflow. Uh, so I'm going to place that in the same channel as the bullet. And most likely I will just turn this off and I may use the bullet. So I will bust these together to conserve one of my channels. And now I have all 16 routed. Now again, you won't hear anything until you enable them in your DAW. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and name them accordingly. And I labeled this last channel bullet because again, I know I'm probably not going to use the ambient mono. And now we have everything routed. We're utilizing all 16 outputs. You know, again, in the first example, it's maybe easier to use this multi-channel setting. And if you don't mind bussing multiple channels into an individual channel within your DAW, that's perfectly fine. However, if you have the flexibility, like we do in Superior Drummer, to utilize all the channels or as many channels as you can in an individual channel within your DAW, you might as well. That way you can apply different EQ, for example, to the kick drum in mic, different EQ to the kick out. You just have a lot more leverage to utilize the plugins within your DAW on a per channel basis. Now, I do want to go through and make sure that, again, all of these ambient mics are enabled. Even though I'm not going to use the ambient mic, I'll, I will still load it just in case I want to use it. And because I do have it mapped, I'm going to shut it off for now because, again, that's just a creative choice not to use the ambient mono and to rely on these other ambient mics to create my drum sound. So now as we play a groove here, we should see everything routing correctly. And if we go through and solo various mics, we should see everything going to the correct channel. And I do, of course, want to check, make sure everything is panning correctly as well. Tom one, you can see the panning once again is working on that. And everything seems to be working. So once again, at this point, I would save a preset within your DAW. I would also encourage you to save a combined preset within Superior Drummer itself since you manually went through and routed everything so that you can recall that at a later time. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.